Hey there, what's going on? Do you find yourself spending hours upon hours messaging, prospecting for your business every single day? Maybe your upline has told you to go in and send 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50 messages to people that you know, and maybe even people that you don't every single day. You feel spammy, you feel icky. If that's the case, you're definitely going to want to watch this video because in today's episode, I'm talking about how to recruit without being spammy. I'm going to be diving into my three-step process to initiate conversations with your prospects, as well as sharing my favorite tool that I use to completely automate my prospecting. So for meeting for the first time, my name is Carrie Hyam, and I am co-founder of Beach Boss Influencers. And at Beach Boss Influencers, we help you make more in less time leveraging systems and processes and social media. So when it comes to having recruit recruiting conversations, this seems to be one of the biggest um, hiccups, if you will, that we see a lot of our colleagues, friends, students make. Um, they make a lot of mistakes that ends up chasing prospects away. So first off, if you're someone who's going in and sending random copy and paste messages to people that you know, maybe even people that you don't, you're going to want to stop doing that right away because when it comes to human behavior, people hate to be sold to. And the second they get a message from someone that seems disingenuine, that seems like it's copy and paste, um, if you have a link in there or you immediately start off by pitching somebody to join your team or buy your product or service, you can guarantee that that person is either going to ignore you, block you. Um, you know, you're not going to get anywhere with that prospect. So people don't like to be sold to. However, people love to buy from trusted sources. So when it comes to prospecting for your business, the best thing that you can do is actually go in without having the intention of recruiting at all. Now that might seem weird, right? It might seem crazy, but if you can go into messenger conversations, if you can go into having conversations on any social media platform for that matter, by just wanting to make friends and provide value, you'll actually end up selling a lot more of your products. You'll end up recruiting a lot more people because you're building no like, and trust or something that we call influence. And building influence and helping you grow your influence is something that we specialize here at Beach Boss Influencers. Okay, so when it comes to initiating a conversation, I'm gonna give you my three-step process that I like to use to initiate a conversation. Now. I'm initiating conversations with people every single day, but I'm also growing my audience every single day. It's not, I'm not just uh, having conversations with anyone, right? I'm having conversations with people that are, that have already proven to be somewhat interested in what I have to offer, whether I'm meeting them in a Facebook group, maybe I'm meeting them in a forum, maybe I've met them, maybe they've come to me through TikTok. Um, you know, I'm, I'm having these conversations with people that, have already somewhat raised their hand and said, yes, I'm interested in what you have. Maybe they've commented on one of my posts, whatever that is. These, is. I'm not just going in and messaging people willy-nilly, okay? The three steps to initiating the conversation, the first thing that you want to do is give a genuine compliment, okay? So, you know, it might be uh, you know, and I, what I absolutely love is I love on like Facebook stories or reels or whatever, messaging people that way, because it ends up in their messenger automatically. So think about it as a genuine compliment, relate to your prospect and then ask questions. Okay. So giving a genuine, so it might be something as, as like, you know, Hey, so-and-so I saw you, uh, you know, commented on my post over in the female entrepreneurs group. You know, I checked out your profile. Looks like you had an amazing time on vacation with your family. I absolutely adore your children. You know, I can't believe Max just got his black belt. Um, you know, you seem to be doing a really good job at balancing, you know, between working and being a mom. I have a question. You know, you commented on my post. What other, what other solutions have you maybe tried to this problem that you're having? Do you see how you're able to kind of use this process to first establish the relationship? They know where they met me. They know where I'm coming from. Then 
I'm, you know, building that relationship and that rapport, I'm not automatically going in and pitching them. After that initial conversation, after that initial message, I'm messaging back and forth. And if the conversation doesn't go towards business, I don't necessarily take it that way. However, if that person, because I know that they're interested in what I have, they've already, you know, if they're replying and telling me what other solutions they've tried, I'm digging a little bit deeper and I'm saying, you know, okay, you've tried this, you've tried that. How did it work for you? What did you like about it? What did you hate about it? I'm asking questions to dig deeper, to really figure out what their pains and problems are before I will, I will actually ask, you know, well, I have a solution to this. I've been using it for this many years. It's helped me with this. Um, you know, my friend Julie just got started on it. She's lost this much in this much amount of time, right? Like I'm being generic here, but you can kind of see how the conversation goes. Then I'm saying, are you open to taking a look at what I'm using? At that point, we're moving them through. So that's my three-step process. And what I absolutely love, there's actually a tool that I've been using for the last few years that actually has helped me automate this process. It's called Lead Magics. And there's a link somewhere. It's either going to be above, below, somewhere attached to this video, depending on where you're watching it, probably in the comments. There's a link where you can go and you can check it out. And what I absolutely love about this tool is I'm able to keep track of my conversations. Not only am I keeping track of my conversations, but I'm able to locate the highest, uh, the highest value prospects that I have, meaning those that are ready to buy, ready to join, and I'm able to completely automate my prospecting efforts. So if you click that link, head on over and check it out. They actually have a free version that you can uh, take a look at. It help, it's going to help you uh, manage your contacts. It helps you search, filter, and organize your leads in Messenger. Not only that, but it's going to help you add private notes to each contact. Because I don't know about you, but I don't know how many times before I had this tool, I would go and I would be messaging people. And then I would look back and I would see, oh, I have messaged this prospect before. I don't remember what they said. I hopped on a call with this prospect. Maybe it was a year or two ago, right? What I love is I'm able to add private notes to each of my contacts. So I'm able to keep track of the different conversations and where they're at. I'm able to con completely create message templates, which means there's no more copy and paste messages. And there's a really awesome bonus uh, prospecting course that my good friend Brandy Shaver has put together to help you learn how to use this tool to completely automate your prospecting efforts. So grab that link, head on over, check it out. Like I said, there's a free version. Um, they also have a couple other tiers of this program that you can actually take a look at um, and you can pick the one that works best for your needs. So hopefully you got value from this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and share it with anybody that you think might benefit from it. And we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.